are Rob and Ali sharing with you our passion of all things cruise and travel. We are on the P&O Pacific Encounter. We're just finishing a three night comedy cruise where we've been staying in stateroom 11719. This cabin is at the back or aft of the ship and it's also an inside cabin. So it's the first for us on this ship and on an inside cabin or in an inside cabin. If you want to see what this cabin is actually like, watch our cabin tour. But the purpose of this video is to do a review of how we found the cabin, both from a location and the fact that it's an inside perspective. So in terms of location. So statistically, this cabin is supposed to be one of the worst on the ship. And that's because its location high up, um, deck 11, and that it's towards the back of the ship. Yeah. And also that it's inside, obviously doesn't have a window or a balcony. So why is it worse at the back? <laughs> <laughs> when you say worse, what we're talking about, we're talking about motion at the back and high up or at the front and high up, you're gonna feel more motion than you will in the center and low down. And actually we did, we did feel more motion. Now it wasn't enough to cause us a big problem. Um, I don't really suffer from, from motion sickness at all. Alda suffered from motion sickness and mm. she didn't really feel it. Not any different than I would. So you do feel, you do feel the motion, mm. but it's not as bad as we thought it possibly would be. What we did notice, and especially this morning, now this three day comedy cruise, we've just been sort of like floating around in the sea, but we came back into port this morning and for about an hour to an hour and a half, we really felt the rumbling and the vibration of the propellers and the engines, even though we are on deck 11. So it's coming into dock as, yeah, you say, as, so, as they try to go sideways to get in. Well, I'm not sure whether whatever, it was because but, it took a while, yeah. but the point is, it's, this was just a three day, so it's just on the way back. But if you're on a multi-port um, cruise, where you're stopping at three or four, you could have that on three or four mornings. So if you're an early riser, it might not bother you. Um, if you like a little bit of a lying, then uh, it might. So mm. something mm. to consider about the motion, but I would not be put off having a cabin in this location for the sake of motion. No, certainly, uh, yeah. So, yeah. So when we were in the cabin, which is kind of the evening getting ready mm. and getting up in the morning, I didn't notice really any difference. Didn't really notice at all. Didn't really notice at all. Um, so the next one would be uh, the fact that it's inside, do yep. we think? Or yep. Well, no, actually, for location, the only other thing is if you want to get to something that's at the other end of the ship, obviously you've got further to walk. Yes. But again, it's not really a problem. If, it, you, if you make your way to the centre mm. or, or whatever, yeah, then there's lifts. It's great lifts. for the, it's great for a few things though. It's great for the pantry because uh, you, the lifts are literally a few steps away. The lifts or the stairs take you up two levels and you're in the pantry, or you can take the lift down and it takes you all the way down to Dragon Lady. It's the only set of lifts that actually goes to Dragon Lady, so. And to, uh, the, and to the, uh, the disco. Oh, and to, yes, and the to the Altitude nightclub. Yes, it's the only lift that go How old fashioned to... am I, disco? I know. Nightclub. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so it did have its good points in that, that oh, way. Oh, absolutely, yeah. 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 Um, so in terms of an inside cabin where there's no window and no balcony, our main concern was that we were going to feel a little bit hemmed in um, and a little bit claustrophobic. With no natural light, yeah. Actually, yeah. it hasn't been a problem, it just it wasn't a problem I, at all. We didn't feel like that. No, I did think I would really notice it. Um, and you do notice it because you need the lights on all the time and in the morning you don't know whether it's three o'clock in the morning or yeah. nine o'clock in the morning. But it's, um, it, I didn't feel it as much as I thought I would. So that wouldn't necessarily be an issue with me, no. Um, no. But what what I did notice is that it's a different setup. It's a it's a different, I'll, I'll give you a quick pan round as to how this is actually set up, this cabin. So square foot for square foot, it's supposed to be the same. Yeah, but it, it is laid out differently. The bed, the, the furniture, everything else is laid out differently. So it tends to be that the head of the bed is where normally your window would be or your um, balcony doors. And you wouldn't think that would make much of a difference, but what happens is the bed should be turned, well, would be turned around this way. And what it would mean, so that you had access to get through your balcony, what it means is that one person can be at that end and walk along this, this little passageway here to get to the bathroom or the shower room or get to the wardrobes or even just get out of the cabin and you're not disturbing the person here 
that um, on this side that can also get in and out and get to the bathroom and everything. What we found is with this layout, we had to keep crossing each other. So I love him dearly, but we did, mm. <laughs> we did have to keep, and we had to keep shimmying mm. past each other. So if you have got the same size cabins can accommodate four, this one can't, but the same size ones do have um, bunk beds that fold up and fall down or come from the ceiling, don't they, I think. Cozy, that's what we would say. We would say definitely for a four dayer, if you're a family or if you are grown ups and you want to all share together because it makes it very inexpensive if you've got a party, um, party so that, people, have nights, stag nights, nights do, birthdays, yeah. that kind of thing. Fabulous, but you will feel a little bit cramped. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, you'll, you, and you'll have to keep the floor tidy, otherwise you'll just be breaking your neck on shoes and things and clothes that you've just dropped on the floor. So, but what we would say is it would not stop us from traveling if there was only insides. Obviously, like anything, horses for courses, you know, it, it's all about the money really, isn't it? The bottom line is about the money. Wouldn't stop us from, from cruising. It wouldn't, but if the girls came with us, I don't think we'd even consider sharing a cabin um because of, just because of the space not because of anything else really just because of the space so. you see i would <laughs> I, I, I would i'd just clean up after yeah. everybody and um yeah we'd probably just have a lot of times we'll go and get our shower you go to, yeah you'd work it out you'd be fine you could yeah um, you could. and the the air conditioning works that was the other thing i thought that we wouldn't get the air conditioning for some reason i just had it in my head that we would be very, very hot yeah. in this box. Yeah. And it, it just wasn't, it was no. just the same as, as all the other rooms. Yes, yeah. all in all, uh, this cabin was fine. It was fine for us on our three day comedy cruise yeah. and we would definitely, definitely do it again. Yeah. 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 All right, so that's enough for us, from us for now. If you've liked this video, please hit like, please hit subscribe. And if you want to see more of our videos, hit the notification button. From the P&O Pacific Encounter, stateroom 11719, Yes. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, rope in your family and friends and get booking on one of these cruises for a three day. You will love it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye.